Good morning, guys, and welcome to Unique Not Different with me, Shamla. And today I have Mr. Bowani Fosad, who is the president of Persons Associated with Visual Impairment, PAVI. And he approached me and told me that actually this month is Blind Awareness Month. And um, so we are here today to discuss like, what PAVI is going to do, what is the significance of Blind Awareness Month. So good morning, Bowani, how are you doing? Well, good morning, Shamla. Good morning to your viewers and listeners, wherever you may be. I'm fine, thank you. I apologize for this technical issue, but you know, sometimes these things have a way of misbehaving. Mm -hmm. Well, to the viewers, there's no technical issue, but no problem. Apologies <laughs> accepted. So I just wanna um I just wanna ask. So I went on I went online and did my research, right? And I saw mm -hmm. that October globally is blind awareness month, but that, through the Caribbean Council, they recognize mm -hmm. blind awareness month as this month. So what no, is month? All right, let me let me let me just clear up. Now in October there is World Sight Day and there is White Cane Day. Now the significance to the Caribbean is that on May 18, 1914, Work for the Blind was started here in Trinidad and Tobago, which expanded to the rest of the region thereafter. So May 18 is traditionally known as Founders Day here in Trinidad and Tobago. It was the date on which work started and the opportunity was created for blind and visually impaired persons to um, receive some training, some education, some basic knowledge, and then to move on with their lives. Awesome. So um, in terms of, so it's a whole month of, I guess, activities and promoting awareness. Well, uh -huh. well, to be honest, to be honest, the period used to be from May 18th to 31st, but what we found in the Caribbean is that a lot of agencies um, use this entire month for celebration, recognition, et cetera. Awesome. So what are we, is there any particular team and what are we in particular um, is planning to do to raise this awareness through the month? Well, we're kicking off proceedings with this event this morning, and we're going to use the media eff efficiently and effectively to make sure we can send the message across and to make sure that people understand and deal with blindness awareness because, you know, 108 years of, of recognition is, is a, a lot significant milestone but at the same time we still have pockets of resistance pockets of you know attitudinal problems etc and therefore we um, are doing our best to continue the education process and to make people more and more aware of blind and visually impaired persons in our country in our community and in the region by large so um apart from i guess media I guess through the media, what mm -hmm. else are you planning on approaching? Um, I guess bodies in particular to promote this awareness and and also what impact um, would you like to create um, throughout this month? Well, basically, there is no um, significant activity other than awareness because uh, we've just come out of the pandemic into endemic stage, and you couldn't really plan in advance. Um, I know that some people are having, you know, little little get-togethers, whether it be for bingo, domino games, etc. But otherwise, most of it is going to be done virtually, um, given the fact that we 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 now starting to reassemble um, in terms of you know face-to-face -face activities. So this is why we're using the virtual platform as far as is humanly possible. Pavi has a Facebook page, Pavi Trinidad. Pavi is on YouTube. We're having a virtual concert with 90.1 on May 15th. That is going to be one of the events. And of course, the awareness um, through this and other platforms. Um, in terms of the virtual concerts, um, is there any um, like tickets available? How, how no, 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 no. Um, it's, it's, it's an online thing with, with 90.1. And um, all people have to do is to listen, and they will get instructions of how to pledge donations that will help Pavi to continue its work in the community. We will be featuring a lot of the artists, Calypsonians, um, over the last uh, couple of years who have graced Pavi with their present, with their competition material. So we, Pavi was um, a host of the Calypso competition for the blind for a number of years. So we're pulling together a package that will bring to the fore some of the talents, um, not just of the Calypsonians, but of Chutney singers. Of course, we are only too familiar with people like Asha Tomachi. We have some new, young, up-and-coming ones. And basically, we want to highlight their talents and, and, and showcase it to the public at large. 
And I guess in, in closing, um, what it, apart from awareness, right? Mm -hmm. What gaps what gaps in your I guess in your role as president of Pavi are you still seeing in terms of um, holistic inclusion, inclusion for persons who are blind and um, you know who are blind? What I could tell you is that when I ventured into the into the open world after leaving school, the attitude, the the, the, the system has changed over the last four to fifty years. Um, we're seeing greater acceptance, but we still have levels of pockets of resistance, um, attitudinal barriers, et cetera. But we have come of age in a number of respects, but we still have a lot of work to do. And we can only continue that and leave for the um, future generation to take over. We've seen a, an increase in technology, people using technology very extensively. We've seen the world become, um, you know, minute now because long time you had to travel by boat and other other forms to, to get from point A to point B today. You can sit in the luxury and comfort of your home and communicate with anybody, any part of the world with technology. So technology has taken a, a vast improvement. The, we continue to encourage people to read and write Braille. They may not do it extensively, but it's still very handy for a blind person to have Braille on his on his um, you know curriculum, so to speak. And we continue to you know to demonstrate that we are people first um because of the fact that you know citizens become blind for one reason or the other and, and therefore uh, we have to continue to show peace a person can reach out to Pavi to i guess volunteer and also contribute uh, all right um our office number is 2201073 mm -hmm. and our office is open monday to friday from 9 a.m to 3 p.m we are, as I said, we are on Facebook and all the information is there, Pavi Trinidad. We are on YouTube. We do have one or two uh, videos on YouTube. And we are, you know, basically here to continue to serve and to encourage persons who are blind and visually impaired to become a part of Pavi. We do have support groups in various parts of the country. And through that, people who are more or less homebound or who live in their communities, we, we take the work to the people, so to speak and not people come to us. We go out there, we train them, and we help them to empower themselves. Awesome. Well, I want to say thank you so much for coming and, you know, um, bringing awareness and, um, I guess, light to, you know, the entire process of creating awareness for the blind community. And thank you so much, guys. With that, um, I want to say thank you for tuning in to this week's segment of Unique Not Different. Until next week, as I always say, be good, be good. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.